I quit my job in the fall of 2015 and decided to follow my passions and seek out adventure. In the span of two years, I've walked the West Highland Way in Scotland, trekked over the Andes to Machu Picchu in Peru, through hiked the rugged terrain of the Appalachian Trail in America, tramped the sublime Bibbulmun Track in Western Australia, opened myself up completely to a foreign culture as a Henro, or Japanese for pilgrim, on the 88 Temples pilgrimage in Japan, and was also a pilgrim, or peregrino in Spanish, on the Camino de Campostela in Spain. After those soul-enhancing and physically challenging treks, I was looking forward to my next adventure. In October of 2017, I loaded up my backpack, put on my hiking shoes and set out for Israel. I was determined to walk the entire Israel National Trail from beginning to end. This trek was featured by National Geographic as one of the 20 epic hikes in the world. The trail begins near the border of Lebanon and Syria, goes down toward the Sea of Galilee, flanks the Jordan River, and runs along the Mediterranean beaches north of Tel Aviv before cutting inland toward Jerusalem. The southern portion of the trail crosses the harsh and spectacular Negev Desert. The 1100 kilometer journey ends in the resort town of Alat on the Red Sea. I enjoy taking things slow. Experiencing a country while sauntering at four kilometers an hour allows me to immerse myself in all of the surroundings. It's also the best way for me to connect with locals and fellow travelers. I had begun the journey by myself. At first, I imagined that this long trek may be a lonely experience. However, it didn't take me long to make friends with Israeli hikers along the way. They're among the most warm, welcoming, and generous people that I've come across in all of my travels. I was the only non-Israeli in the different groups I hiked with. They were always thoughtful enough to speak English when I was around. They not only made me feel like I was a good friend, but they also accepted me as family. The ages of my new hiking mates range from their teens to their thirties. Even at the age of 52, I really felt connected to them despite the decades separating us. I may have been the senior member of the various groups, but they seemed to be the ones to take care of me. I was a seasoned trekker, but was apprehensive about crossing the 400 kilometer section of the Negev Desert. The desert posed daunting challenges. The steep and rugged terrain was hazardous. But what would I do if I had an accident and badly injured myself? It was reassuring to be hiking with friends who had my back. It would take three weeks to cross the searing hot Negev desert. I needed six liters of water per day for drinking and cooking. There are few if any natural water sources in the desert. How would I get enough water to survive? My friend Ron from Tel Aviv took the responsibility to strategically cache enough bottled water for the two of us. By caching our water and some food along the trail, we comfortably made our way from the town of Arad at the start of the desert, all the way to the end of the trail to a lot at the Red Sea. The 
trek took a total of 51 days from beginning to end. The Israel National Trail surpassed all of my expectations. I started my trip alone. I left with a new extended family.